Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shy, but you can call me Shadowcat as the channel name suggests, and today we're watching The Naked Gun. I believe The Naked Gun is brought to us by the same creators who brought us Airplane. A lot of you guys recommended this movie on my Airplane reaction, so I am expecting it to be a little similar to that film. It did come out, I want to say around like a decade later than Airplane came out, so maybe the style of comedy is a little bit different. I'm sure the references are a lot different so I'm excited to get into it and if it is anything like airplane you guys can probably expect me to miss some stuff okay and I will expect you to yell at me in the comment section for it a very symbiotic relationship we have I don't know what this movie is about at all but when I purchased it on prime it gave me a little preview and all I saw was OJ Simpson so don't love that, but it is a product of the 80s, so okay. <laughs> I'm curious to see how this movie measures up to Airplane. I did find Airplane funny, even though I apparently missed half of the jokes. I still thought that the movie was really, really funny and really fun, so I'm curious to see what The Naked Gun has in store for me. So without further ado, let's watch The Naked Gun. Not the intro I was expecting. Cowards no longer willing to fight. Oh. oh. Well, that took an unexpected turn. I gotta say, I do appreciate the pure silliness of these films. I feel like we don't have that many silly comedies these days. Oh, a mohawk! <laughs> I'm Lieutenant Frank Drebin, police squad. And don't ever let me catch you guys in America! Okay. It's always really interesting going into a film not knowing what to expect whatsoever because yeah everything that i have seen so far was not expecting <laughs> it's a waste of some perfectly good popcorn a shame this is a fun little sequence Damn, 199 for a dozen donuts. That's crazy. <laughs> Throw down your guns. <laughs> Kill him. Ah, uh, he's gonna go straight into the web pane, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, it's what he deserves. <laughs> In my um, airplane movie reaction, I said that people said goodbye on the tarmac, and immediately as it escaped my mouth, I regretted it because I knew that that's not true. That's not what I meant to say. And I was like, whatever. But people keep commenting that uh, people never said goodbye on the tarmac, and uh, I know, I know. Sometimes you say dumb shit. Do any of you understand how a man can hurt inside? Frank, they're not here for you. <laughs> Weird Al Yankovic is on the plane. Mm. <laughs> yep. It's the 80s, all right. 
Everywhere I look, something reminds me of her. <laughs> Maybe it's just a... <laughs> Oh, I thought that OJ died. I was kind of hoping. Where would you like? Where's Northburg? Oh, he's right here. Okay. Right. <laughs> Me, Frank, your buddy. Love you. I love you too, Northburg. Who were they? <laughs> Oh, he was such a good man, Frank. He never wanted Citation to hurt needed. anyone. Citation really Who needed. such a thing? Having a nut spit off by a Laplander. That's the way I want to go. <laughs> Your husband is going to be all right. Don't you worry about anything. Just think oh. positive. Never let a doubt enter you. <laughs> that was gross. Frank, when Nordberg said, I love you, he was telling you the name of the ship. I realize that. <laughs> we have placed the Queen's security in the hands of police squad, a special division of the police department. Mm. The Queen is in danger. <laughs> Oh, the mic is still on. Oh my god. <laughs> we will be able to share in the uh, no. celebration. You have to go in there and say, yo, we can hear it all. You don't just try to talk over it. Whoops. <laughs> You want to take a dinghy? No, no, I took care of that at the press conference. Does it make <laughs> sense, you know? Good policeman, <laughs> bright future. Oh my god, the like chalk cut out. <laughs> Maybe this will refresh your memory. I don't know, it's still kind of hazy. How about this? Yeah, I remember him. I used to see him around. Why do you want to know? I can't tell you that. Well, maybe this will help. I really don't think I should. <laughs> yeah, you still don't think so? <laughs> All right, his name is Nordberg. He's a cop. He was no cop. He was dealing H. What? Well, why should I tell you? Maybe this will help. I still don't think I should tell you. Can you spot me at 20? How about now? <laughs> All right, I'm going down to Ludwig's office. I'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant, the feeling is mutual. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. Uh, Cuban? <laughs> Uh, no, Dutch Irish. It's funny that in this movie, I feel like everyone else is more playing a character that's a lot more straight and even keeled. Where the main character is the one that's kind of ridiculous. Whereas I feel like in uh, Airplane, they were all super ridiculous. So it's just a, it's an interesting approach. Unbreakable. Impervious to everything but water. Its value is... Oh, so that's going in the fish tank, isn't it? I'm investigating the attempted murder of one of your dock workers. Yeah. A man named Nordberg. Very likely. And there is no room in my organization for any type of criminal activity. Five years ago. Yeah! Ouch. You bet you do. Orange growth. Acres of them. As fat as the eye could... Ow. You've been very cooperative. I'll make a note of that in my report. My pleasure. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Trevin. I feel like I should be expecting th these things at this point, uh, but they're still shocking me. I've heard police work is dangerous. It is, that's why I carry a big gun. Aren't you afraid it might go off accidentally? I used to have that problem. What did you do about it? I just think about baseball. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> How about dinner? I know this little out of the way place that serves great Viking food. Viking food. Quite a tempting food. offer, Lieutenant. It was about 4 p.m. when I returned to police car. <laughs> <laughs> they aren't too wet, and I was hoping in this case we wouldn't come up dry. Anybody get a look at the driver? <laughs> I did. I got a real good look at him. Testing that new anti graffiti wall. Well, it looks like we've got a few customers. Set to react when the spray hits the sensors. <laughs> Lab boys, think up next. Now that you mention it, what? Here's something we developed only yesterday. He just, he just, he just didn't use the door. <laughs> Do you see these cufflinks I'm wearing? Well, they're not just cufflinks. Oh my god. Sorry about the car alarm. Here, let me demonstrate. I live in a place where cars exist, unfortunately. Why? <laughs> There's something on the side of your mouth, though. No, no, the other side. <gasps> <laughs> Oh my god, people. Stop your alarm. <laughs> mm. Mr. Ludwig. Yes. Uh, Mr. Papschmeer is here. Papschmeer? Not Mr. Papschmeer. <laughs> Anyone but that. Tell me, Mr. Papschmeer, in all the world, who is <laughs> the most name. effective uh. assassin? There is even a more ideal assassin. One who doesn't know he's an assassin. I must kill Pap Schmier. No! Will that be with cream and sugar, sir? I had 24 hours to come up with something that would clear my good friend's name. I decided to return to the hospital. Oh. <laughs> this guy needs his license revoked. Stat. <laughs> I mean, again, if OJ has to be in a movie, watching him get hurt over and over again is... It's the best thing I could ask for. Robert, police squad, follow that black car. The car, follow that car. Let's definitely check your mirror. Signal. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, she can't be much worse than you are at driving. Normally, you would not be going 65 down the wrong way of a one-way street. <laughs> Apply the brakes. Now put it in the driving hand. instructor is so calm. <laughs> I guess you'd have to be to be a driving instructor. You damn broad! All right, Stephanie, gently extend your arm. Extend your middle finger. <laughs> Very good. Well done. I feel like she just got all of her confidence. She's ready. All she had to do is flip someone off, and now she knows what to do. Oh, you're screwed. Who is this character in the hospital? And why was he trying to kill Nordberg? And for whom? <laughs> Did Ludwig lie? If there is hopscotch on the sidewalk, you gotta do it. It's one why of the rules of life. Why was the I love you not listed in Ludwig's records? Because Ludwig it was, did he know is about sus. It? And if he didn't, who did? 
It was almost midnight when I got to my door. I just wanted a glass of Bosco and then slip under my blankets. But my night is girly gonna be here. To begin. <laughs> Those poor nose. Yeah, it is her. You're late. That depends on what I'm late for. You said we should have dinner sometime. Why is she in his clothes? I'm boiling a roast. How hot and wet do you like it? Very hot and awfully wet. <laughs> you seem to know your way around the kitchen. Does she? I'm just as handy in other rooms of the house. That shirt looks familiar. You mind if I slip into something more comfortable? What is it gonna be? It's gonna be ridiculous. There. That's better. Did he just change his tie? <laughs> I hope you brought your appetite. <laughs> She'd hung out with the Chicago Mail Chorus and Symphony. Don't recall her playing an instrument. Hmm. Yet she was on the road 300 days out of the year. Hmm. In fact, I bought her a heart for Christmas. <laughs> she asked me what it was. Hmm. <laughs> finds girl, boy loses girl, girl finds boy. Boy forgets girl, boy remembers girl. And girl <laughs> dies in a tragic blimp accident over the Orange oh. Bowl on New Year's Day. Good year. No, <laughs> the worst. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? It's gonna have a literal meaning, yeah. <laughs> of course. Is this all happening over like the course of a day or something? <laughs> it's like, yo, I'm not in on this domestic dispute. <laughs> we just red rovered those people into the ocean. <laughs> I had a wonderful day, Frank. I can't believe we just met yesterday. Yeah, you really mean that, Jane? <laughs> You're not just saying it because we exchanged bodily fluids. <laughs> Doesn't it get like a gun soundtrack? <laughs> That's funny. You're gonna ruin the house of cards? You can't ruin the house of cards. That was hella impressive. He's only gonna he's gonna knock it over by doing something innocuous, isn't he? Twenty million deposited a money bank Zurich upon proof of Queen's death. Mm. <laughs> no. You. Sexual assault with a concrete dildo. What the hell were you doing there in the first place? <laughs> yes, yes, I know. I'm sorry about that, Your Honor. Yes, well, when I see five weirdos dressed in togas stabbing a guy in the middle of the park in full view of a hundred people, I shoot the bastards. That's my policy. 
That was a Shakespeare in the Park production <laughs> of Julius Caesar, you moron. <laughs> you killed five actors. Good ones. <laughs> a little too good, apparently. Jane. Frank. <laughs> oh, that was actually cute. <laughs> I liked that. <laughs> Vincent and Ludwig is a well-respected, generous, kind man. It's just too bad you don't know him like I do. Oh yeah, and how's that? <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Don't fire the gun while you're talking. <laughs> Toxic waste. <laughs> Why wouldn't you have toxic waste here? Look at the queen all younger. But, uh, excuse me, ma'am. Security? Look at He's got a picture of your wife. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I faked every organ. Loki kind of looks like the queen. Good casting. They can't kick you off the force, Frank. It's just not fair. I mean, <laughs> just think the next time I shoot someone, I could be arrested. <laughs> hey, imagine that. My God, he was innocent. <laughs> he went to the chair two years ago, Frank. Oh, God. What? What's the use? You were right all along, Frank. Ludwig is planning to have someone assassinate the Queen. Where? At the baseball game. The Queen will be there this afternoon as a guest of Ludwig. This is going to get you back on the force, Frank. We're all right behind you. Right. I mean, uh, Frank has been uh, not the best cop. From my vantage point, I'm just saying. And I'm sure Her Majesty will enjoy this game, Jim. We've got all the exits covered. I wonder if those are real sports announcers. I feel like they might be, but I'm woefully out of the loop. <laughs> like, I don't think that the Queen would wear that, you know? But I believe it. That's my queen. Mr. Palacio? Si. I am the head usher. Ah. I'm here to sell. Excuse me. <laughs> Our national anthem. All right, you got this. Oh, say can you see? The American anthem is hard because you actually need to be able to sing a little bit to be able to sing that anthem, you know? Frank? The Canadian anthem is a lot easier to sing as an amateur. <laughs> I was like, even I know the lyrics better than this. <laughs> I love how the audience is still into it. <laughs> Is that Frank? <laughs> how about 
Stop that. <laughs> Oh, ew, no, ew. So, as the angels take the field, how did a whole ass finger make it? It got packaged, it got distributed, it got prepared, and not a single person was like, hmm, there's a finger in here. That's strange. Ew, 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 no, I hate this. <laughs> oh, I wish I was not wearing headphones for this. <laughs> Gotta call it, I think. I think that's how baseball works. Strike. <laughs> <laughs> you never know when it's gonna come in handy. Gotta keep it on hand at all times. <laughs> Not the queen getting into the wave. Hey, you're not supposed to do that. Hey, wait a minute. Something. Something if baseball games were more like this, I'd go to more baseball games. I just would. It's the third out. No. I must kill the queen. Oh, snap. Frank! Frank is the right fielder! <laughs> Here. Is this wrestling? I must kill the queen. Whoops. <laughs> Oh, no, no. He's just stunned. He'll be all right in a couple of minutes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well. Anyway. <laughs> oh. My father went the same way. <laughs> Jane, since I met you, I noticed things that I never knew were there before. Birds singing. Dew glistening on a newly formed leaf. <laughs> Stop lots. The crowd reactions. It's an engagement ring. I would have given it to you earlier, but I wanted to wait until we were alone. <laughs> These movies always scare me. I'm like always expecting the absolute worst. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love how they all have handkerchiefs just like on the ready. And Monday morning, we want you back at Police Squad with a promotion to captain, of course. Mayor. Oh. But don't thank me. We're all in danger. <laughs> Nordberg! Hiya, buddy! Hey! Doc says I should be on my bean and as good as new in a week. Everyone should have a friend like you. <laughs> okay, last time I missed an after credit scene apparently. So I'm not 
Amazon doesn't give you previews, unfortunately. Let me just... I don't think I'm missing any after credit scenes this time, okay? I'm checking. I don't need to get yelled at more than necessary in the comments. We just finished The Naked Gun and unsurprisingly, this one was a lot of fun as well. It's hard to watch this movie without relating it back to Airplane. I really appreciate the commitment to absurdist comedy in these films. Again, I think that I said this at some point in the reaction, but I don't feel like a lot of those types of movies get made anymore these days. I will say that I found Airplane more over the top, more like, I want to say that there was more jokes per minute in Airplane, but this could just be another instance of me missing jokes. I am sure there are plenty of jokes that I also missed in this one, but I felt like there was more to uncover in Airplane. Let me know if I'm wrong about that. I believe I also remarked on this at some point in the movie, but in Airplane, I felt like every single character was just absolutely like the, the the most ridiculous versions of themselves whereas i feel like in this movie it was mostly frank who was the nucleus of all ridiculousness and the world around him was sort of just like reacting to his ridiculousness that's not mm, i guess it's not like 100 percent true because there were definitely moments that other characters like had really really absurd moments but i think that that is the main difference that I saw between Airplane and this movie. I am glad, I'm not gonna lie, I am glad that OJ was really only at the beginning and the end of this movie and every single scene that he was in, it was just him getting like hurt. You know, like it felt, it felt right. It felt right, okay? If we're gonna have OJ in movies, that feels like the way you do it. I feel like I got more of this movie's humor than I got of Airplane's humor, but I am sure... Look, I get humbled all the time when I post these videos to YouTube and you guys let me know what I missed. And a lot of the times I'm like, how did I miss that? Sometimes I'm even editing my videos and I'm like, whoa, this it, like really funny thing or really like noteworthy thing just happened and I didn't react to it. Um, that's kind of just like the nature of reaction videos, especially first time reaction videos, you are going to miss some stuff. There's no two ways around it. So I'm wondering um, if I'm if I'm being accurate in my assessment that I got more of this movie than I got Airplane or whether you guys are going to let me know that actually, girl, you did not. <laughs> But yeah, I had a lot of fun with this one. I think that I'm doing it a little bit of a disservice by continuously comparing it to Airplane because I would say that I enjoyed Airplane more, even if I might have gotten a little less of that movie. But I do think that this movie was also within the same realm of really fun. Um, and yeah, I'm happy I watched it today. My hair elastic just broke, so... I think it's telling me to wrap it up and eat dinner. So thank you guys so much for watching this with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I would appreciate a thumbs up. If you didn't, you know, you know I would appreciate a thumbs up still. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.